We're now going to deal with showing a user's friend request. And we're actually going to add some more uh, manual data into the database, into the friends table, before we get started with actually giving the users the ability to click an add button and add them. So we'll get this out of the way and done with first of all. And we'll implement the method on the user model to handle this. It's pretty straightforward. So the first thing that we need to do then is head over to our user model. So let's close all of this off. Just focus on our user model. So that's within app models user. Let's go down here and let's create a method to grab the friends requests. And this is very simple. So we're going to say friend requests as our method name. And what this is going to do is it's going to return this friends of mine. So remember that friends of mine method we added. And that doesn't necessarily mean they have been accepted. So we can implement a, uh, a where clause on the pivot table, which is our friends table. And we can say where accepted is false. And we can grab them records. So this will then display any uh, re records here with accepted false where someone has added you. So we need to also update this friends request section here. So let's go ahead and do that now and then we can create some uh, example records. So we're going to head over to our friend controller and here we're going to create a new variable called requests and this is going to be auth user friend requests. And we can pass this through here as well. So I'm just going to call this requests. We'll change that accordingly, like so. OK, so over to our template then, if we head down to friends index, we're going to get rid of this HTML comment. And we're going to check if the user has any friends requests. And then if so, we're going to loop through them. So it's a similar deal to before. So if no requests count. We want to do something, otherwise we want to do something else. So in this case, we can just say, you have no friend requests. Now, otherwise we want to loop through our friends requests and we want to output the user's profile block. You could modify this later to add an add button here, but we're just going to keep things nice and simple and keep all of the buttons on the user's profile page. So we'll say for each requests as user. We'll end that for each there. And we'll go ahead and include our template. So that's user dot partials dot user block. So at the moment, as you expect, we have no data for this, we have no friend requests. But if we go and add one in, so for example, if Dale adds us, so that will be two to one. So we say user ID two added user ID one and accepted is zero then we see that friend request. Oh, in actual fact, that should be the other way around. So let's change that from one to two. And there we go. So if we were to go ahead and just sign in as Dale, so let's open up a new browser and let's just sign in with that Dale account just so we can check that we're getting the right data through here. So I'm going to sign in. I'm going to go over to friends and you can see that we don't have any friends requests here and we don't have any friends. As soon as that is accepted, it will appear here that we have Alex Garrett as a friend and over in our other browser here, the friend request will disappear and it will change over to our friends. So that is how we output a list of our friends requests. If we do have a friend request that hasn't been accepted, the process that we're going through, which obviously you can change, is we're going to click through onto the profile and we're going to have a button up here to accept our friend request. And in the next part, we're going to deal with adding friends as well. So we're going to do the whole lot.